Princess Meow Meow recommends. Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This episode is also sponsored by Audible.com. You could scale this frame up to whatever size you like. I decided to make mine 12 inches square, which is a little over 30 centimeters, just because I had this scrap of oak in my shop that I wanted to use. And I think I can get the whole frame out of this one piece. I'll make all of the cuts using my crosscut sled. First, I need to cut this board into two equal size pieces. To set the length of the cut, I'm gonna measure from the table saw blade to this stop block, not the fence itself. And the reason for that is I don't want the cut off piece of the wood to get trapped between the fence and the blade. That can cause kickback throwing the wood back at me. I'll set up this block back here, line my workpiece up against it for the measurement, then remove the block. That way there's no chance of it getting trapped. With my zero clearance insert in place, I'm gonna rip a narrow strip off of each of these boards. I'll cut these into strips that are just a little bit wider. And I'll rip the four frame pieces down to their final widths. Making lap joints can be a little bit tricky because you've got two dimensions to work with. You need the depth of the blade to be perfect and you need the width of the notches to be perfect. The best advice I have is to use a scrap board, run some tests, and make incremental changes to your setup. I've raised the blade to half the depth of the wood. To cut out the notches, I've set up a stop block on both sides so that I can make all the cuts and slide it over and they'll be the same on each side. Now I need to cut out two smaller notches on the back side of two of these big pieces. To do that, I'm not changing the height of my blade at all, but I've moved in the two stop blocks. I'm using my disc sander to make bevels on the ends of each of these boards. Now I can glue it all together. One of the nice things about lap joints is that they're self-squaring, so you get a nice square picture frame. I'll hit this up with a few coats of spray lacquer. Here I'm cutting out two pieces of acrylic the same size. I'll stick the plexiglass on using epoxy. Do you like to make things? I'm gonna guess you do. That's why you're watching this channel. That's what you call a leading question. This month for my audible.com book recommendation, I've been reading a book that you are going to love. It's called Stuff Matters by Mark Miodovnik. It's all about the materials we use in our lives and a lot of them we just take for granted. In this picture frame alone, I'm using wood, metal, plastic. The book provides a fascinating insight into the history and manufacturing of items like 
paper and glass and steel and even chocolate. It kind of reminds me of Modern Marbles. Remember that show used to be on the History Channel? The book covers all of the science behind all of these materials and yet he has written it in a way that people, well, like me, can understand. And as always, you can download this book free by going to audible.com slash woodworking to get started or pick out any of over 150,000 audiobooks available at audible.com. I hope you give it a shot and if you do download Stuff Matters, let me know what you think about the book. I'd like to give a genuine thank you to audible.com for sponsoring Woodworking for Mere Mortals and helping me provide free content to you every week. And I want to thank you for watching this week's episode of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. This turned out to be a really fun project. It's one that you can make in just a couple of hours. And if you'd like to make your own, I've got some plans down below you can download. If you've never made half lap joints before, they're not that difficult. Just take your time and challenge yourself with them. And in some ways, it's a lot easier than trying to make perfect miter joints. If you like this project and would like to make more picture frames, well, I have assembled a playlist for you that has all sorts of picture frame ideas and framing tips. That's one thing about woodworking. Once you start doing it, you're probably going to end up making a lot of picture frames. If you haven't already done so, I'd love for you to take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Beer Mortals, where I post new woodworking videos every Friday. And please check out the For Beer Mortals website at formiremortals.net where there's lots and lots of plans and photos and you can get involved and become part of the Mimo community. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next week.